You were prepared to set up office in North Dakota if that meant avoiding those 30 percent commissions. The bill didn't pass, though. I know that there's a number of other states looking at similar legislation. What do you think the chances are of this passing elsewhere? I think the chances are going to keep increasing because people are going to learn more about this issue. And I don't think every other state is going to be as intimidated by the big tech companies as North Dakota was. It was truly remarkable to see that one of the main reasons why North Dakota senators didn't want to vote for this bill was because they were afraid that Apple or Google would sue them and that that would simply be too great of a burden for North Dakotans to, to bear. It wasn't about the merits of the bill itself, I spoke to several there and I testified there were uh, broad support for the marriage. In fact, a quarter of the senators, even against this risk, uh, voted to pass the bill. So I think once this bill moves to perhaps a bigger state where the legislators are more informed than the issue up front, where the a massive amount of lobbying effort that Apple and Google are bringing to this, uh, it's not going to have as much of, a, of an impact and where they're not afraid to legislate big companies, we're going to see very different outcomes. Right. And David, you've been on our program before and other businesses that don't like that 30 percent commission that they pay to the app stores. But, you know, what indication do you have from users that they want this kind of change? Is that going to be important when other states make these decisions? I think we're just starting to get the education program going, where users are realizing that Apple is a, a monopoly, as was definitively determined in the antitrust um, report that came out of the House uh, or, or last year, and that uh, Apple's practices are simply unfair. When we say, hey, app developers don't want to pay a 30 or 15 percent, most of them don't. Most of them simply don't. Uber gets to run its own payment processing on Apple's platform. Uh, Facebook monetizes through ads, does not pay Apple at all for any of that. In fact, Apple goes out uh, time and again and brags about the fact that only 15 percent of app developers being shaken down and extorted for this cut of revenue. And I think once um, consumers realize that, they're not going to feel good about that. They're not going to feel good about the fact that a $2 trillion company is bullying small software developers out of 30 percent of their revenues. Um, David, I don't know if you're willing to get granular enough to talk about individual states, but uh, Georgia and Arizona obviously are the ones that get mentioned the most uh, coming out of North Dakota. And then we've talked to Maryland about other tech issues re related to uh, digital advertising. I just wonder, do you have what will be the next uh, uh, test case if you if you have one? Yeah, I think it's going to be Arizona. Um, Arizona has a bill coming up, I think, next week um, where I was actually scheduled to testify in favor of that as well. And I think Arizona is an interesting case because as these cases come up, we see more and more of the tactics that Apple and Google and their lobbyists are employing. When I looked up the bill in Arizona just yesterday, their entire public page in support of this bill is full of astroturfed comments from so-called very real, very concerned voters who all bring out identical language about how, oh, this is an FTC matter. The state shouldn't actually risk getting sued by these big companies. There's some really sleazy tactics being used. And I think the more we get those on the light of day, uh, the harder it's going to be for Apple and, and Google to continue to press this matter. And again, I think North Dakota was probably one of the smallest states that could have taken this on. It was a very long shot that they were going to vote for it, given the magnitude of this. But states like Arizona or, or others, I don't think they're going to be as intimidated by Apple and Google uh, as they were in North Dakota. David, though, I mean, let's be real. You're talking about lobbyists. Didn't the lobbyists for Epic write this legislation and hand it to North Dakota to begin with? I mean, this is all a big legal fight with some very well-funded companies on either side. Now, granted, I mean, nobody's as well-funded, arguably, as Apple and Google. But this looks like a coordinated strategy by the folks on your side of this to take this state by state and try to break Apple and Google down. Oh, of course it is. This is the Coalition for App Fairness. This is a, a group that Basecamp is a proud member of. And... What else would you have us do? I mean, Google. No, I'm just saying, Apple if you're talking Google about lobbyists, I mean, has a, yeah, everybody's a, got a, them. Well, this is really the talking point out of Apple and Google. Hey, this is just a dispute between billion dollar companies. Listen, Basecamp is not a billion dollar company. I'm not a billionaire. 
And by the way, when they say, oh, this is a fight between billion dollar companies, they uh, leave out the fact that Google and Apple are not billion dollar companies. They are trillion dollar companies. There's literally, literally a thousand time difference between being a billion dollar company and a, a trillion dollar company. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.